guys, we're at Howard University with Taco Talks, Voice of the Youth. I'm shot by Spencer with Two Brothers Films. We got here with the 1017. We came to support, show love with the students. They're facing a lot of adversities here at the college from the administration to where they're having to live in unjust living conditions. So we just want to come out here and use our platforms to share what's going on here since they're trying to silence them. So Taco Talks TV is always on set, making sure everything's captured. Voice of the Youth. This nigga Taco Tuesday sneaking, yeah, man. sneaking the interview. It's Lil' 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 We got a full on. Ain't nothing, nobody can come to him and say about me. Ain't nothing, nobody can come to me and say about him. You can't think me nothing about him, man. I know what's going on. It's a full, it's book understood, overstood, past. It's more, it's more of a maturity, though. Yeah. Like, dealing with what, what he got going on. Yeah. In my eyes, like, even though I am who I am, he is who he is, we know we like this. Yeah, at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, big, When I walk up in there with them folks, it was, my brother, they baby came right here. They gonna shake your hand, too. Like you got we some street yeah. niggas, man. So if one of us probably go for it and the other one, we all gonna show love. No, so man. we all, man. One win, we all. My brother, Quinn, yeah. I can't wait till you start acting like a rapper. For this real? Song, <laughs> this Quinn is root. This the gangster back here. This street nigga right here, y'all. Yeah, this is the gangster. Ain't no way. Why you know who you is? Now, this is who I get into every day, all day with. Me and this whole argument, 24 7 out of the day. I don't even ask him no question. I don't walk all the way down to ask somebody. Boy, you better shit the fuck out of here. Come on, keep it over here. Come on, my little brother in law. Okay, we got time for two more. Okay, you gonna. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. 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 I always was the class clown, so like, I mean, the center of attention never been nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I grew up watching Barney and shit, so I always stood in front of me. I'm a Barney, man. I'm a 90s, baby. You know, we, we read it by Barney and all this. Yo, what the fuck they got to do with what we talking about? What I can tell you, she said, I did what I told you. So, you know how the little kid be playing in front of the TV? You know what I'm saying? Watching boy. They, they, they gave him you. momentum to get on the stage and yeah. yeah. birthday thing. Yeah, they helped you out there. Boy, y'all can pick up what's up. When you sing them songs, the boy, the song when you look. I love you. You, you perform it, cuz. You perform it. You gotta tell them that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to tell them that. This ain't right. This ain't right. This ain't right. This ain't right. Two plus two and four, man. Now they. I don't know <laughs> what's your favorite part of working, working with artists with 1017 and working with each other? What's your favorite thing about working with each other? Alright, because all of us got our own style of what we do. So, like, we come together and do this shit and shit. But mainly, because me, I feel like I can't nobody, I can't get on no song with nobody. Because, like, I got to catch on to they, what they got going. Especially they sing it to me. Like, we got to sit down in the studio and put this shit together type shit. But they will make it hard, though, because we all got our different ways of doing this shit. Girls, you know you better watch out. Some guys are out of the road. Hey, all about that thing, that thing, that thing. These niggas ain't shit. Remember when he told you he was about to be a man? You know, I don't really got a lot of energy, but when I get around them, they be giving me energy. <laughs> They ain't gonna be acting all sign shit. Come on, nigga. We all street niggas, so we just gotta go out and get what's hard. I can't just be like, look, bro, come on. I'm gonna have you drink a little bit yesterday. But you had fun. Yeah, you had fun. Like, we all be like, we all real street niggas, so we all be like, man, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of
so we gonna be like, like we're saying about this street here, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna yeah, celebrate. Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna be mad. Don't get it twisted. We trying to surpass that shit. We are not street niggas. We not no street niggas. We're gonna come around all day like, I'm not no tough guy. Yeah, you I'm not gonna be like, rap. Like, I'm not gonna be 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 know the fuck going on, man. House party, you know, flash cam man in the world, you know. You know, we out here at Howard University supporting 1017, you know, they came out here supporting protests and shit, you know, students out here getting treated bad, horrible housing, no, you know, care for the students, all that shit, like, you know, it ain't right, like, it's the HBCU, they should be getting treated right, they spending all this money, you know, to get treated like an actual person, that's why I don't go to uh, PWI, so why you gonna come to HBCU and get treated worse than the PWI would? <laughs> Look at him now. <laughs> this is double yeah, trouble. <laughs> double trouble. Hey, y'all. All right, thank you, guys. So, hey, y'all, me again. So, I'm here with the major from Atlanta. And um, my question is about y'all's relationship with Gucci. Um, he significantly, like, expanded 1017 in the last, like, year. Mm -hmm. And he said that he wants to, like, share his knowledge with y'all and help upcoming rappers. So can y'all just talk a little bit about, like, how he's mentored y'all? I learned from Gucci, man. I'm about to use Gucci to be yourself, no matter what. It's just like, when I first got on, you know, Cub, Sizer was the mind behind it. Like, why about something like, you gonna do you regardless, no matter what. Whoever, whatever I'm going to do, I'll be trying to show them shit. Like, I don't care. Care about me just being right, like, y'all going to, ah, going to, ah, can't do, ah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all going to do y'all thing, too. No sleep. No sleep, I'm tired. Fuck. I mean, shit, like, more part about it, you know, this shit, this shit, you know, in any type of organization or business, you know, you don't have, like, shit that don't go wrong, you know, shit going to happen, you know what I'm saying? That part, I have my faculty. So shit, with that being said, you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to put your pride to the side to survive sometime. You know what I'm saying? Even though we all street niggas, we all come from the same environment, the same habitat. We ain't gonna let now, nigga, how much you hear me? But at the same time, this shit a business. You know what I'm saying? And that would be bro be saying, like, you know what I'm saying? This shit a business. You gotta understand this shit a business. You know what I'm saying? Like, the streets, the streets. You know what I'm saying? But the business, the business. And that shit, like, hard to, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you so used to bullshit. Because we got to act a certain way around certain people. You know what I'm saying? We got to handle ourselves accordingly. Like, like this a million dollar, a multi-million dollar business. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, we come from no home training and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got home training. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got none. You hear me? I ain't going to cap to you. I ain't got none. Never had none. I had to teach myself home training. I ain't you know lying. What I'm saying? I ain't had it. I ain't had it. I ain't I ain't had that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hooligan. <laughs> yeah, shit. But shit, I'm just saying, I'll let to say, he always dropping jewels on a nigga, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he gonna come to a nigga, he gonna be like, man, you know, this shit a business, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like my little brothers, you know what I'm saying? Y'all family. I just wanna understand that this shit a business, you know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes we be bullshit. You know what I'm saying? This shit take work, pain, tears, blood, sweat. You know what I'm saying? Sacrifice family time, kids, nephews, nieces, birthday parties and shit. Last year, I didn't spend you know no saying? holiday with my family. I miss Christmas, Halloween, everything, birthdays, all this shit. And this ain't even, you know what I'm saying? I spent Thanksgiving in Miami. I never did that day in my life. <laughs> this shit full of heartbreaks and heartache, you know what I'm saying? This shit, I mean, it's glamorous, you know what I'm saying? We living better, but you know, the spiritual toll and the mental toll on this shit. This shit overbearing sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes nigga wish the shit when it came. And sometimes nigga grateful for it. I'm always grateful for everything, you know? I'm grateful for breath. But shit, yeah, that's about it. But he been through the same shit though. That's why I take it where I take he, cause he the same type of nigga, street nigga. Been through that, you know what I'm saying? Live that, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. So he know what it. He got the recipe. You know what I'm saying? Gucci ain't missed that many times. Nigga, Gucci like 15 and one probably. Man, that nigga, he, Gucci man, and Gucci had Nicky, Young Thug, Migos. That nigga got OJ the Juice me in the heat. Okay. You hear me? That man know what the fuck he talking about, man. You hear me? So shit, when somebody trying to tell you something, 
You just gotta take heed, man. You know, you ain't never too old. Listen, you can learn from a baby. Turn it down, this shit just got me motivated. I feel like I got on my shit.